What's so special about electrical safety? Millions of people use electricity every day, and it's not a major problem. Why all the fanfare about electricity in the workplace? Well, that's a good question. So let's begin with some basic understanding about electricity. Then we'll demonstrate the reasons all employees must use extra caution when using electrical equipment and appliances. There are different types of electricity or electrical energy. Low voltage, high voltage, static electricity, alternating current, direct current, and so on. Static electricity is quite common because from time to time we experience a shock from a walk across a carpet, then touch a light switch or doorknob. Static electricity originates when two different materials are brought together, such as the soles of the shoes and the carpet. Then they're separated. When the two materials are forced apart, two different kinds of electricity are produced. One type on the carpet, the other on the shoe soles. They attract each other, trying to pull the shoe back to the carpet, attempting to recombine. If the two types are not permitted to recombine where first generated, and the person touches a doorknob or light switch, the electricity flows through the body, arm, and finger to leave by the doorknob or light switch. You can feel the shock as it leaves your body. The electricity is now gone, and you won't get another shock until you generate more electricity. That's static electricity. It can be generated in many ways, but for now, let's think of static electricity as electrical charges. How about those high voltage lines you see on telephone poles? Ever wonder how birds can sit on those lines without getting shocked? But if a human did that, they'd be in serious difficulty. That's part of understanding what electricity is and how it works. Basically, a circuit consists of three essential elements. One element is the source of energy shown here. This supplies the driving force or voltage to make the current flow. Next, we must have a user of electricity, such as a light bulb. Thirdly, you must have transmission lines or wires to conduct the electricity. For current to flow, there must be a complete or closed circuit. If the wire is cut or disconnected somewhere, forming an open circuit, charges will accumulate and stop the flow of current. The bird must be part of the electrical circuit, and there must be a continuous flow of many charges, not just a few to charge up the bird. 